Tuberculosis remains a major global health problem, accounting for 8.6 million new cases and 1.3 million deaths every year. An estimated 15% of tuberculosis cases are attributable to diabetes. Diabetes prevalence is increasing especially rapidly in low- and middle-income countries where tuberculosis is a serious concern. This double disease burden creates obstacles for prevention and care of both diseases. Having diabetes triples the risk of developing active tuberculosis and patients with concurrent diabetes are four times more likely to relapse and twice as likely to die during tuberculosis treatment. There are many challenges around the screening and diagnosis of tuberculosis in patients with diabetes and vice versa, as the two diseases are usually diagnosed and treated in different types of clinics. Joint planning and improved collaboration between diabetes and tuberculosis care could lead to identification of more people affected by both diseases, more opportunities for early treatment and better case management. At the current rate of decline, tuberculosis cases will be decreased by about 40% by 2035. Failure to address the diabetes epidemic could see this projected decline in cases reduced by as much as 8%. However, strong public health efforts to prevent diabetes globally could further reduce tuberculosis cases by 15% or more. To find out more, go to thelancet.com.